front. How are you? I'm excellent. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so proud of you. I love your show. And I'm just pleased to be back. Yeah. Well, we're so excited to have you back. I got to say, when the Oprah Winfrey Network decided to end Greenleaf, we were all just like, oh, you cannot stop this show. This is such an amazing show. But then they came right back with this brand new show coming from the creators of Greenleaf that is titled Delilah. It premiered last night again on the Oprah Winfrey Network. And, you know, I received a care package. I think we, we shared, I shared some of those pictures. Yes, I was like, oh, I want one. <laughs> this beautiful care package, but I was eating that popcorn and sipping on, you know, what they had sent me, watching the show and was just so excited to see your pretty face on the screen. It's a lot of black girl magic in this series. So if you can, tell us a little bit about it as well as your role. And there's a lot of, there's black girl magic and black boy magic on Delilah. And I have to say, I wasn't too jealous anymore because they sent me a wonderful um, bouquet, um, which I'm displaying during this interview. It's still fresh and lovely. Um, oh man, Delilah. Delilah is a show, it's starring Mara Hill who plays the title character Delilah. Um, alongside uh, the character uh, Tamara, um, who's played by Jill Marie. And I'm just like so thrilled to be a part of this show. Basically these two women, they're lawyers who went to school together. One has like her own smaller mom and pop type of um, firm. And then the other works for this big, huge mega firm. And they're both based in Charlotte, North Carolina. And um, my character, I went to school with them. Um, I'm not a lawyer, but I come in and I'm coming in with a few questions and I'm really wanting Delilah to take on my case. The fact that uh, these two women are best friends, they went to school together, I went to school with them and um, they have some very specific opinions about my character, um, Leah Davis. And Leah comes back in town with, um, some questions and she's needing help she people are watching her chasing her and she feels like she needs some help and so she comes to delilah um with a big issue at hand so yeah that's how i <laughs> that's how i fit in the series playing leah davis and what i love about this is that you have these two powerful African-American women who are lawyers, you know, working in Charlotte, North Carolina, which is giving uh, some shine, you know, to the South. And uh, just love the fact that they are so strong and so powerful. And, and this is, again, I think a conversation that we've had um, over the last couple of years now about strong Black female images on television. So how does it feel to be, because you were also part of the scandal um, series as well, which also yeah. featured strong African-American women. So how does it feel to be on this series with these strong Black women? You know, it's really exciting. I, I've been so fortunate um, to be a part of um, shows like that. You know, I've also been in, on shows where I was the only Black woman. Um, and it's a different dynamic um, sometimes. First of all, people are people. So everybody loves, everybody hates, everybody you know, everybody has the same range of emotions, no matter whether they're black, white, Asian, Latino, whatever, everybody has different feelings. But when you are on a show where um, there are other people who have things in common with you in terms of your culture, it's so relaxing in a way because you don't, there's a shorthand that you speak. You don't have to explain you know, if you ask somebody, hey, do you have some hair oil? You don't have to explain to them why you ask for hair oil, you know? And um, <laughs> I really appreciate that, you know, the, the hair and makeup department, shout out to them, were so, so wonderful and, and accommodating. They have what you need. You don't sit down feeling really nervous because yes, in, in this day and age, you still, as a black actress, um, can, they wonder why you're tired in the morning and it's because you may have spent the night grooming yourself and preparing yourself because you know that when you get to set on certain shows they may not have what you need to to make you shine or how have what you had to make yourself look good for the audition <laughs> so that was really exciting um because we were filming during um this time of the pandemic we weren't able to hang out as much as we would have liked we also had a lot of wonderful black female directors um we have a black female uh dp you know which is just 
just wonderful to be on set and witness that. And, and it was interesting to see the interaction of people who, who are, I think are used to seeing um, men in certain positions, you know, and I will definitely, you know, of course, shout out to Oprah Winfrey Network and Oprah Winfrey and that she knows the importance of people having those, those opportunities. And our executive producer, Charles Randolph Wright, um, really just, just giving that opportunity um, to those women. And uh, he also directed um, several episodes as well. And I just always enjoy his touch. I enjoy how he, I just enjoy how he comes in the room, you know, and we all were functioning in such careful ways with dealing with the pandemic. And um, it was just a blast. Any gems that you learned from Martha Reeves when you played her in Motown the Musical? Oh gosh, um, I want to say I I, uh, I got a chance to meet her um, on opening night. We had like two openings. We had like a smaller opening that was like a special opening where all the Motown people were there, and I actually met uh, Lee Daniels that day as well. But a lot of like star. We had like a previous night because the show is so star studded that um, it was it was just packed full of stars and they all, all their associations. And so you got the actual real person of every role wanting to come and then their people and their friends. So they just had to do a whole separate opening, right? So I got a chance to meet her and um, she was just beautiful. You know, she, I, I, I studied her a lot and I enjoyed the way that she would do her, you know, be grooving in the show, you know, in all of her shows and her concerts and things. And I just was really um, just, what did I learn from Martha? I learned everything from Martha, how to entertain, how to give a show, you know? So I also have to tell you, I've also played, in addition to Martha Reeves, I played Edna Anderson. And Edna Anderson, um, for all intents and purposes, uh, was Barry Gordy's uh, executive assistant for many years, okay? She was um, on the end of a lot of deals, and she really helped to make a lot of things happen. Suzanne DePass, of course, um, uh, who was played by my friend Andrea Dora Smith um, in, in the original Motown, the musical. These women were so powerful, and are Suzanne DePass is still so are so powerful, and helped to make the music business. You know, really were on the ground, on ground up of making the music business. And um, I, I just really um, was very proud to play them and, and to meet Edna. Edna has passed away, um, oh, she's so beautiful. She had the silver hair um, when I met her and, and Martha Reeves. There's a wonderful picture of the two of us <laughs> um, online. We'll have to get, maybe you can insert that picture. Um, but I just, I definitely feel associated with a lot of um, uh, powerful women playing Rita Marley in the, the Marley uh, musical um, a few years back. Um, those, those women and the, the things that they did in America, in the world, uh, have changed people's lives. And I feel like in my own way that I am, um, changing lives as well, inspiring people, even, even, even though I'm a human, I get down like everybody else, I am still out here inspiring people. And so having an opportunity to be on Delilah and, be in a city where, you know, like right now I could probably look out and see the little, the little lizards like walking by. I just needed, I needed some nature. I needed a lot more nature in my life. As you can see, I love flowers. I have my plants. I just, I needed a, a different, a, a slow down pace because being in the entertainment industry, um, I'm just go, 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 constantly performing. You know, your nerves are just, there's a lot of adrenaline. And so you you sort of manage it like a stale adrenaline feeling post show, post concert, post filming, post interview. And so when I'm not doing all that, I really personally, I need a very boring life. And so I needed a, a city that was like, more quiet, not with all the, the noise, you know, you know, so when I was in New York, there was just a lot of honking horns, very busy. And, and, and that, that was important at a point in my career. And when I need to go to New York, I go and, and perform there. Absolutely. But uh, I just, I personally, I'm so, I love Pam Greer. And when I saw Pam Greer on an interview talking about how she lived on a farm with her horses 
in be- when she's not filming, she's on her farm with her horses. I said, that's, that's what I'm looking for. That's the type of life I'm looking for. Now let's also get into another series that you've been tapped for, which is one of my favorite throwback shows of all time, <laughs> The Wonder Years. Can we talk about that as well? Yes, we can talk about it. <laughs> A little bit about it, we can talk about it. <laughs> now what's gonna be your role in, in, in this series if you can share that? So I'm so pleased um, to announce that I will be playing Lillian, uh, the mom in the new reboot of The Wonder Years with ABC. So pleased to be a part of that show. Uh, It's gonna be executive produced by Lee Daniels, written by Saladin Patterson and directed by Fred Savage, who was the original um, young boy in the show. My audition process and meeting them and testing for the network and all that with them was 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 just amazing. Um, I just felt a kinship immediately. And um, I'm the first one cast. We'll see, everybody will find out um, as they make a further announcements who else will be starring alongside me. I saw a message or somebody, you know, people making comments. Everybody's like, what, the Wonder Years? And I saw a message where somebody said, um, uh, cause it says, say Consemblo to star in Wonder Years. And they were like, well, I thought it was about a little boy. And I'm like, a little boy is coming. Y'all gonna get y'all's little boy. Just wait and, you know, it's, it's, it will be, it will all be revealed. I, I certainly won't be playing the little boy, uh, but I will be playing his mom. Um, Lillian is an accountant. She's um, well-educated. They're based, I believe in Montgomery, Alabama. And I get to be my Southern, sweet Southern self. And, and again, it's just right on time with the energy that I was vibrating on, you know, you have to go after and make sure that you, you have to flow with the energy that you are vibrating on. And, and if your spirit is telling you to be in a certain energy, then follow that. You know, if I had to force myself to stay um, in New York or maybe made what I thought, you know, a lot of people make these like emergency move to LA or whatever, um, which who knows the show could shoot in LA. I believe the show is actually going to shoot down South, which is so wonderful. Um, but if, if I had done that, maybe I wouldn't have been just submerged back in my, my grits and biscuits existence. Like it's all about, you know, I, I love, <laughs> I love my, um, my Southern, I love my biscuits. I love, you know, I just enjoy, um, having my collard greens and my, you know, and just getting back to that has been, uh, really wonderful for me. So to get a chance to 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 play Lillian um, is going to be really amazing. Well, Saikon, thank you so very much for being a guest today on Upfront. Again, you're starring in OWN's brand new series, dramatic series, Delilah, and that's airing on Tuesday nights. Give us the time for that. See me in Delilah uh, airing Tuesdays at 9 p.m. Eastern on the OWN network. And look for me um, as everything flourishes. Look for me on ABC with the Wonder Years.